Yeah, people are uh, struggling to get in contact with hurricane victims. A big, a big concern is those rising waters and how their loved ones are surviving in those conditions. They are without power and there's a lot of flooding. This Lumberton family worrying for two loved ones riding out Ian right now. One relative is in Orlando. There's also a friend in Sarasota. Thankfully, both are doing all right, but it hasn't been easy getting them on the line for updates. It drops calls and, and it's very staticky. My niece is a uh, physical therapist and she's on the staff that has to stay at the hospital. So uh, she said they were doing okay, but she can't leave the hospital. Some people in our area rushing in to help. Josh Oliver recently arriving in Florida. We hopped on a Zoom call as he was making his way to Fort Myers, which has been hit hard. A lot of debris, there's been sirens going off uh, all throughout the night, really. We've still got some heavy winds and rain. The Raleigh man, part of an 80-person crew from the Triangle, jumping into restoration efforts. He's there for professional and personal reasons, going straight to family after making the long trek down. Well, I was able to pop in and check on them, and they're in good shape. And so now we're just extending our services out to uh, other folks that are in need. This woman seeing the devastating images and being prompted to sign up to volunteer with the American Red Cross. To me, it means a lot to help, to give. So she is expecting to start training shortly and is hoping to offer a helping hand as soon as possible. We're live in Raleigh, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah, people along the Gulf Coast of Florida will need our help indeed in the uh, weeks and months ahead. Elena, thank you.